pay attention. Creepy weirdo. I would like a strong, powerful woman to protect me. Mm-hmm. He'll fight for America. Yep. Who be square? The Playable Characters Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Playable Characters Podcast. Woohoo! PCP. PCP. Yeah. PCP. I'm Brian. To my left is... Olop. And to his left is... Calvin. How are you doing, guys? Doing good. Doing good. We've had a real good couple of weeks here. I wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, the Black Guy Who Tips podcast. We were just on that uh, a few weeks ago at the time of you listening to this. Yeah, shout and, out to uh, Rod and Karen. Yeah. Yes. Awesome fans. Uh, gave us a nice boost. And you guys have been super nice and awesome listening. So thank you for that. If you haven't yet, subscribe to us on iTunes and Google Play and Podbean and Stitch, all those type of things. Don't subscribe on all of them, obviously. Just oh, can we give another time. shout out to uh, give all the shout out to, to JL? He released an album. Uh, if you listen to our first episode with uh, yeah. Bowser, yeah, uh, JL Calvin released an album uh, as Trump. As Trump, yes, it's, it's pretty funny. Check like it a spoken out. Spoken word as Trump. So yeah, yeah, so everybody just share everything with everybody and be nice to everybody. That's true. That's also follow us on Instagram. Give yeah, us- we have a new Instagram page. Yes. Yeah, and I liked a bunch of video game pages yesterday, and I've got. Killed with a million spam bots like free gift cards, free <laughs> gift cards with a Z, a thousand free gift cards, Call of Duty points. Like that's all I'm getting. So I report all this stuff as spam. If Instagram's you guys give like, us a five star review on iTunes, we'll give you a free gift card offer. Yes, we won't. Okay, we, won't. Okay, we, we'll we totally won't. Let's out. not promise that. Okay, yeah. sorry. No. We promise you a free Viagra email. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Well, you'll get an offer. You won't get a free gift card. Yeah, Calvin will come offer. to your house if you live in Brooklyn. I will come to your house and fluff you personally. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'm so excited for today's guest. We have a very interesting guest today. Yes. It's from, uh, well, she is from a very uh, popular indie game. It won yeah, a it's bunch our first indie game. Mm-hmm. I think uh, so, guess, yeah. Right? It won yeah. a bunch of awards like best co-op game, most fun, you know, most game to make you divorce your wife type of if you play together. It's like, <laughs> right, it's like right. we were just playing it earlier. It's super fun, very yes. competitive and co-op-y, but it's awesome. Uh, we have in studio with us today a chef. From the game Overcooked. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm great. We're so happy to have you here. Thanks for having what, me. What, what, what should we call you, by the um, way? Well, I'm Chef Cat. You are the cat. Oh, I'm, yes. But Hi, Chef my Kat. name is Catherine. Oh. oh. So it's with a K. So I'm oh, Kat. so you're not the cat. No, but I am. I'm Cat Cat. <laughs> well, you can, see okay. she's a cat. You can <laughs> just call me Cat. Yeah. Okay. okay. But with a K. Okay. okay. What what I, Kitty, like Kit like. Cat. Yeah, kind of. Okay. okay. Just not without the kid. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, just, the cat. Cat. just the cat. K A T. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, thanks for coming. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah. I mean, tell us uh, briefly about you know how you get started being a chef or just a uh, well, whole process. I mean, it's obviously uh, very hard when you're a cat. <laughs> I would imagine to become mm. a chef. Yeah. Um, the health. De- I actually had to go through the health department. Mm. To get approved to be um, a chef, because I obviously uh, shed a lot. <laughs> right, because you're not one of those skinless cats, right? No, you I have a lot of I lo- a, have a lot of hair. You're yeah. not one of those gross skinless cats. No, you're not like right. an Egyptian. Right. No, no, I'm not. Um, and I, ha- I, you know, there's the whole hairball thing. Right. Do you wear like a complete body net? <laughs> When you cook? I do. You do? I do. It's really, it makes cooking very hard, (laughs) actually. Um, But yeah, I, uh, it's, uh, it's, I have, um, it's a great, great time. Just, you know. Now, can I ask, um, I mean, I'm I'm very amazed because I feel like you've come so far considering you don't have opposable thumbs. How do you get past that handicap? Um, it's really hard. I mean, uh, it, gripping the knife, that's especially the hardest part. Actually, every part of it is hard <laughs> when I have to like hold the plates, hold the um, hold the, uh, the, the tomato, pots, yeah, the, the tomatoes. Right. The terminology every, can be diff- difficult for a cat because yeah. this is all new to you probably, right? Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. You're, you're it like, is. what do you mean chop onions? I just want to lick my paws. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. Have to learn and all you can't stuff. do that while you're in the kitchen, right? Because that's unsanitary. N- right? No, right. no, no. We've had a lot of issues with the health department <laughs> over that. Um, Speaking of handicap, what's with the raccoon? In a wheelchair, yeah. just kind of whizzing around. I, I think that's have a, a huge crush on him. Really? Oh, well, that's yeah. like breaking he, news. He doesn't know I exist, though. Why not? I mean, I think I don't. He just ignores me. Is it like a love time. triangle? Like he likes somebody else, and like I think he things. likes the girl with the glasses. Oh, uh, the black uh-huh. one. The white one. The is white there, wait, one. is there a white one? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of chefs in that kitchen. There's maybe, a lot. Maybe you haven't choose. met everybody yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's your choice. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, have you worked at a lot of restaurants? Do you get, I mean, after they notice, like, she's, hey, this cat's kind of gross, do they kick you out and you got to go somewhere I else? I mean, every or? time I have a hairball incident in yeah. the, like, soup, that's when I lose my job. In the soup? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, mean I cough it up in the soup. 
I mean, don't you, do you have enough self control that you could just cough it up in the garbage or something? There's like a garbage that? right you there. Never yeah. know, you never know when a hairball is going to come. You down. know what? I have two cats, guys. That's true. It's, They're terrible. It could happen at any time. It can any happen time. at any time. And, like, and you kind of convulse. You go into like a. There, you can't move when you have a hairball yeah. coming mm. out. How do you keep getting hired? I feel like your references would be pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to fire her. <laughs> All the time. Because of uh, hairball soup and everything. Her resume is very long, but it's just like one day job. <laughs> every but day. that's why, because I have a lot of experience. They, 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 uh, they, they, it's a long resume. They don't read the fine print and they notice don't. that you were at a place from June 15th to June 16th. Right. And then they just kick you <laughs> right. out. I got you. Okay. You know right. that fetish where people wear like uh, like full body like uh, leather suits? Mm-hmm. Furries? No, it's a re- like a reverse furry. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. oh, like leather suits. Oh, yeah, zentai. Yeah, yeah zentai. Have, like a hole in like, their mm, mouth. Yes, I know what it is. Immediately, <laughs> you knew right away. <laughs> Maybe you I, I just heard from you know a friend. I heard it from a friend who right. heard it from uh-huh. a friend who you know is zentai. heard it from a friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you could be like a zentai in the kitchen, right? If you wore just complete like. Like body leather. Wait, I don't know. Th- I'm thinking of like like the gym from Pulp Fiction. Do you mean like? Yeah, no. Yeah. Zentai is a full like one. Where skin like color? No, case oh. it, have, it doesn't have to be skin, skin color. It can be okay. any color. But it, again, you so only I have hear. a mouth hole, correct? <laughs> yeah, 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 you have a mouth hole. You can get an eye hole. hole. I'm sure you could get. But like, again, the problem is her mouth because she keeps puking up hairball. So but that then she can't. But she can't lick up. herself. She can't lick herself uh, if she's wearing the full Zentai suit. Okay. Oh, true. Yep, you, know. you can. Oh, true. But you won't get any hair. You can lick yourself all day long. You're not going to get any hair through that suit. True. Yeah. This but do you want a really good idea, there. actually? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Cal at the show. He knows a lot of people. Okay. I say, yeah, we'll we'll send figure out a Zentai links. bar for you send to like set up links, it. Are you are you like friends with the uh, mouse from Ratatouille? Do you guys know each other? Because you're the only two animals I've seen that have. We have a real rival. Yeah, I mean, I guess Rivalry, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, really. He's my big rival. Yeah, yeah. he knows a lot of. Um, Recipes. I really only know like tomato soup, yeah, right. <laughs> onion <laughs> soup, um, mushroom, mushroom soup, mushroom soup. <laughs> uh, and you, and you sometimes take, they can make burgers yeah. and pizza, but he has a lot. Of, he makes ratatouille. Right, ratatouille. I mean, that's like, <laughs> so you guys don't use spices. I no. noticed. It's really. <laughs> it's, I mean, are you mostly serving white people? Is that what's going on? <laughs> it's hey, mostly white people and <laughs> some penguins. And some penguins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're really demanding those penguins. What's up with that ice level? There's penguins. Uh, you're oh slipping God. around. That doesn't seem to I be fall very smart. In the water so right. much. <laughs> Me too. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know why we're serving penguins. No. Mm-hmm. I mean, money's money. I guess, right? I guess Do they only eat fish and chips. <laughs> so yeah. Do you get workman's comp because you fall no. in? No, really, nothing. No, no. Because you're a cat, like do the other people get it? You just don't yourself. Um, Catman's comp. Nobody gets it <laughs> because we. Because the thing is, is when you fall, you get right back up. In, in five so seconds. they're uh-huh. like, you're gonna be fine. Well, you're, you're a cat, fine. obviously, because you cats are known for falling. Well, right? Also, isn't that they a fall thing? well? But yeah, and they freak out in water, so you, you get up immediately. It's really yeah. traumatic. Yeah, it's like it's. I I don't. I just I fall and then. Oh my god! I get wet. You don't know how much I hate. Right. You look yourself the water. for hours after that. Like we've thrown my yes. cats in the bathtub plenty of times as a joke, and they hate it. That's so. not. A That's joke. like a horrible joke. That is That's not a joke. For a lark. <laughs> wait, wait. Why would you keep doing it as a joke? <laughs> no, we, we uh, when we give them a bath, they actually hate it. Oh, okay. But do you to, even do. have to give cats a bath? I never take baths. They stink sometimes. I know they look well. Here's that we have two. One licks himself constantly, and one never does. So the one that never does is just dirty. Right. So oh. he just sleeps all day. So he's not like. Can't dirty you get the like, other one to lick that one too? <laughs> like, sure. can he lick right. double? Do double licking? Let me ask you this: Do they lick their own buttholes? Yes, they do. Right. Yeah. Not I mean, enough. That's what we do. I mean, not I, enough. I don't want to be the one to ask, but uh, do you yes. do that as well? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I'm assuming not while you're cooking. Um. <laughs> I guess whatever. if you're on break, right? You can do whatever. If I'm you on want. break, yeah. I mean, I step out. I have a cigarette. I lick my butthole. Do you do you lick your butthole and then have a cigarette? Because that would make more sense, right? To get this the butthole taste out of your mouth, you have a cigarette. No, what? but mm. then, then you're just replacing one butt with another. Yeah. Oh, oh. boom, zing. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> joke? Where's the joke? <laughs> <laughs> really so what's your uh, what's your favorite? I guess what, what's your favorite location you've been at? Especially if you're thinking of the overcooked game that you're in. What's your favorite? Is it the restaurant? Is it the moving truck? Which is weird. Um, I really like um the haunted forest mm. yeah you can't see anything but i have cat night vision oh. so i do really well there oh. um, I and we make fo- I we make pizzas fo- there that's where we make pizzas um so that's yeah it's it's good i uh yeah i can see at night i haven't made it that far in the game so i gotta it's level four. Oh, i gotta beat three <laughs> yeah i have to finish beating level three <laughs> 
I haven't gotten to the spaghetti monster yet. The spaghetti? Yeah, you know wow. the Onion King? Mm-hmm. You know when he talks? In the beginning? Can, that guy? Yeah, he's at every level. Right. I don't understand a word he says. No. Um, but Wait, can I ask something? There's an Onion King? So is he made of onions or is he like a He's man? just a big onion and he has a dog as a pet. Yeah. But he... This is a non-chef dog, right? Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm not sure. He owns a helicopter. I know that The much. dog owns a the helicopter. Own, yeah, the dog owns a helicopter. Yeah, but he right. may, he may uh, chef around in his spare time. You never know. Yeah, do you cook at home? How, how do you do it at home? Or I really don't like to take my work home with me. Or you just like open up a can? <laughs> what do you do for yourself? I open up a can. I really like uh, hard food. Um, <laughs> that's like my favorite. Kibbles. Like kibbles. Like kibbles, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like kibbles. The canned stuff is too expensive. I don't get paid very much, so I can't afford the canned. Right. It's notorious at the... Sh- like, I guess you would consider yourself a short order cook more than a chef? Uh, I don't... I I think I'm a sous chef. Okay. I don't... Short who's, order. The, who's the main chef if um, you're the sous? Mm-hmm. It looks like everybody's doing the same thing in the game. Well, somebody has to be the leader. Um, I'm not allowed, obviously, because I'm a cat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's not fair. I mean, I know I'm never going to get to move up. Hmm. What about the disabled raccoon? Is he? Uh, <laughs> does he have the same like? Are you guys both? Since you're both animals, you can't like get the higher positions in the kitchen. Um, he's a diversity hire. <laughs> that's, so. that's, I didn't want to say that. Yeah, I didn't well, you say might that. be too since you're a cat. I know, but he's also in a wheelchair. Yeah, he's a so little bit more. He's got more going on than does I he, do. Does he get more leeway in the kitchen? Like people, he do. does. Everybody gets out of his way. So you're you like, don't want to be the one that like trips the person. Or the raccoon that's right. in. Yeah, and he falls out of his uh, wheelchair and then... Oh, <sighs> God, you look like a terrible, terrible cat when you do that. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you've done it? I mean... A couple times. A couple times. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's why I get fired. Yeah. <laughs> we all work together, though. We all kind of get fired and we move on to the oh, same really? job. So it's a unit. We're a traveling group. We're a traveling group. Oh, the yeah. humans, too. So everyone's like, hey, if you... So if you get fired first, does everyone just quit and then you guys just move on like carnies or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's why we're always working together. I just uh, wonder. That's yeah. nice. It's like solidarity. Yeah. It's kind of it's like one of those jobs where like, you know, we'll take it if no one else will take it because no one wants to work on a glacier. Nobody right. wants to work on a, on a moving truck. I mean, back and forth. So. The, dub, the double food truck things is pretty crazy. Who are you guys serving? There's a triple food truck, too. Oh, really? Wow. Who are you yeah. serving? I don't know. That's <laughs> I. That's what I'm always... Who is, are our customers? That's yeah. my big question. I think it's a catering van. Window? I think you're making food for like a wedding or like a bar mitzvah or, or something. Or we're a food truck, but we're a moving food truck. Yeah, but you have With to, moving you have, parts. This is like not remotely OSHA compliant. But no. you can't At block all. all three lanes of the highway, so it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Is that why? Yeah, because <laughs> what about the traffic behind you? So you got to make room for like people to pass you. Yeah, that's what they're serving. But we don't. People we don't ever them. do that. No, it's don't. almost like a charity. It's like, hey, if you drive behind this truck, we'll just throw food at you. Yeah. free food for everybody. Maybe you're serving froggers. Is that it? <laughs> yes. I don't know. There's no frogs <laughs> in this world. Can I ask you, like, okay, this is what inspired you to say, like, I don't want to just be a regular cat. Mm, good, and then what? Question. Why? Why cooking? Why not? Um, you know, paralegal or something, you know. Well, cooking's always been my passion. You mean, you mean paralegal? Uh, uh, all right. Where's, where's that bell? Where's that bell? Uh, <laughs> well, I did grow up on a farm. Um, my, I don't know who my dad was. <laughs> he just left. Right. Obviously. Is that common in the cat community? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, okay. you, you, almost no one knows who their father is. What about is. the chefs? Probably the same thing for chefs, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's actually... Rough upbringing. Most chefs don't know their fathers. They don't. Yeah. They don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> they know their mothers who cook for them. Right. Yeah. Um, and I had like 10 brothers and sisters. Sisters. Mm. Uh, ten of each? Yeah. Ten bros, ten sis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In one litter, wow. It's a big, litter. Yeah. It's a big litter, big litter. It's 21, mom, 21. Uh, so my mom had her right. hands full, obviously. Right. I had two uh, claws. <laughs> yes, God, her paws. Sorry, no, you're trying to acclimate to being a human. I get it. I know, I'm trying know? to use your language. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and so I always had to, you know, help out around the barn. And uh, I, I picked up cooking, and I really liked cooking. And I just was like, I got to get out of this country. Was your mom a farmer, country, or you guys just wait, lived on, on a human farm? The country town, ta- like the Where country f- town we oh, lived in. Oh, like different the country, like the countryside. Co- like the countryside, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, and what I, state were you born in? Uh, uh, Virginia. Okay. Virginia. Oh. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In the mountains. That, so yeah, the glacier thing must be crazy. You were on a, mount, a mountain farm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, it was in the valley of the mountains. Right, right. that makes there's, sense. There's that farms in the valley. So you guys were cat farmers, or you were just cats who lived on somebody's farm? We're cats that lived on our farm. Your cat didn't live on a farm. Okay, cats aren't allowed, I'll, allowed, they're allowed, to, allowed to farm? No. They can't own a farm. If, if they can cook, why can't they farm? Well, they can't it's, really cook. Yeah. We, we, I mean, I mean, we got to change the constitution. That's what <laughs> we need to do. My Right? Yeah. My, my dream is to own my own restaurant, mm. obviously. Um, I, what kind I, of food would you serve? Um, well, you know, 
I do like tomato soup, so <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the stuff you're doing now. Just it's kind of all I know. It's, yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah, I'm gonna stick with soup probably. And this all would right. be for again just for white people and penguins, probably. <laughs> probably yes. Okay. Yes. What culinary school did you go to? Um, I I I, I didn't. I apprenticed. Oh, so you kind of oh. followed someone it around. It seems like it would be a waste of culinary school if you were just making like tomato soup and onion soup. <laughs> right. No offense. No offense. Right. I, I, yeah, I didn't want to spend my money. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to go to like Paris and like, you know, be making crepes and then you're coming back and just making making assembling burgers soup. all day long. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. So, what would, so I guess, what would the name of your restaurant be? Have you thought about that? Like, the it, cat's meow. That's not bad. <laughs> a little plain. Yeah, I, mean, I like well, it. It's, a pl- wow. it's just serving plain food. Yeah. Exactly. That's why it's plain yeah. food. Also, exactly. it sounds like a maybe like a kind of like a stripperish club, kind of like. Does it? Yeah, it I don't think out. so. Yeah, it looks, it sounds clever. Thank you. That's like, like a it. strip club. That's would a little classy. I would come night? to. I would come to the cat's meow. I'm like, not a fan of tomato soup, but I would love to come and just see. Do you like mushroom soup? Mm, do you I do. like onion soup? <laughs> I'll have an onion soup. Okay. Can you can we get cheese on top, like French onion soup? No, it's just straight up onion soup. Three onions per pot. So. That's all it is. There's Pretty no salt. Easy recipes, I gotta say. I but you know what? That kitchen is really stressful. It's not set up properly. It's not. It's not. You gotta go here, then there, you, then there. But you also can't. It's crazy because, like, you know, you, usually you can just throw an onion in a pot and it'll cook and soften, and you know mm-hmm. that's how it. You have to chop the onions. In this, in, in I think it cooks kitchens. faster if you chop the onions. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. That's what I understand. Just makes it are, are you a chef? <laughs> <laughs> no, Do you I, know I'm not a chef. Much no, about I, I, no, you're right. I'm overstepping my bounds here. How many restaurants would you say you've worked at? Uh, probably about 73. 73. Wow. It's <laughs> a lot. It is. That's a lot of experience. It is. It's a lot of tomato soup. Yeah. <laughs> God. yeah. Sometimes I do get tired of making tomato soup. Do you, I mean, obviously it's hard for you to pick up the knife. Do you just like kind of slash with your claws ever? Or um, oh, no, you can't, right? Because that's not clean. Claws. Don't tell anyone, but I use my claws. You do. I to so. chop. Do you at least bleach before, you know, because... No, but that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I'm a worried about I- the sanit- sanitariness. She's so really is the health department. So yeah. is the health department. <laughs> Are you ever able to use your tail to like as a f- as a fifth like appendage? You know, like a to grab a, p- a pan well, with your tail. Like or I don't think they can. Use I yeah, yeah, I don't know. They're not I don't really. Yeah, I don't no? really. Okay. It has a mind of its own. It's just okay. So I'm just here with all the words: eh? prehensile, <laughs> sentai. <laughs> wow. else? You know a lot. Do you need a job? I do actually. <laughs> okay, I might be able to get you in the kitchen. Okay, cool. It's for anybody apparently. Anybody can try it. Anybody at least can. Once. At least mm-hmm. once. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm done with that. Yeah. What are the questions we have for a cat? I mean, it's, no, I'm still so very much, interested yeah. in like how a cat, the, the whole journey from regular cathood mm-hmm. to to being a chef, like who. Uh, I mean, did the people on the farm? They just let you start cooking there, like. Uh, well, like I said, I had I had a lot of brothers and sisters, and my mom could not suckle them all. Right. Uh, so I had to cook food. Um, so oh, so did you get to suckle? How many people didn't get to suckle out of this litter? I think usually you have like eight nipples when you're oh. a lady cat. Mm-hmm. So I mean, don't, don't you don't you know not. from your own body <laughs> experience? I mean, you know. I have like 10, so okay. I'm like... Oh, it can vary. An aberration. Right. As they say. Well, do you have kids yourself? I do not. I am single. Okay. Um, Like I said, I have a crush on the right. raccoon yeah. in a... The one that in you're the tripping? Chi- wheelchair. Yeah. It's a kind of a like flirting tactic, but it doesn't work. <laughs> he doesn't see it He that doesn't way. see it that way. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think if you if he falls out of his chair and then you kind of like pick him up and then you get to be close to his face, kind of, you know what I mean? I can see how right. that would happen. Mm-hmm. He's it's, probably terrified. Are there a lot of interspecies romances going on? Um, no, and that's why he uh, won't even look at me like that. <sighs> He's strictly raccoon. Because what would we? What would our baby be like? Could we even have a baby? Probably not. Could, I don't think we could. It could be a cat or a cat-coon. No, no, I'm not going to ring. I'm not going to ring the bell for that one. I'm not ringing the bell for that one. Dude, not got curious. That was not it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was a good try, though. I, you now know. on on the farm, mm-hmm. do you cook like the baby chickens? Like just oh you, my god, just like grab those eggs. I don't know how it works. Because you know the meat you're using cow wow. meat, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You are cooking cows. That's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but not baby chicks. But not not baby chicks. Okay. Oh my god, my best right. friend was a baby chick. Was when I was growing up. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's really a sad story. I bet. Uh, yeah. Tell us. It's. I mean, she became dinner for the farmers. But you wouldn't do that. If they were I like, would never. Eggs, you were like, no. No. Okay. Was that but brothers? Like my cows? Year? Yes. <laughs> you don't like cows. cows? Why cows? Are they just not nice to you or something? Or they um, just, uh... Yeah, they're. Oh God. 
believe it or not, they're very mean. They will charge you. I, have you guys ever been on a farm? I mean, they mostly was, stand around. Yeah, I thought they're just no. Like, they I charge. Mean, I've been to one of those petting zoo farms. They can charge. Maybe oh, they really? They don't like cats. I think that might be it. Yeah. They probably because I use them as a scratching post. Oh, yeah. Well, that's wow. probably definitely it. That might be the reason. Yeah. I can't imagine scratching a cow and then picking up a knife and serving some food. It, yeah, there's sanitary issues here. Right. Yeah. Pretty pretty extraordinary. It's very complicated. Yeah. So that problem with the baby chick, was that your impetus for leaving the farm? Um, it was. I was like, my best friend's dead. Um, all my brothers and sisters are pregnant or about to I mean my brothers they ran off obviously I mean this is kind of a common story uh, in, in rural areas right people get pregnant really early they get knocked up very early yeah even uh, with humans I mean I'm, I'm talking about humans yeah, yeah. humans too yeah mm-hmm. also there was like a meth problem on the on the farm <laughs> really the cat the, with the cats too. animals do meth a lot of meth. <laughs> I, I had no idea I mean there's not much to do in like like the countryside who's selling or, you the meth are there other animals selling it or are you buying yeah. it from humans yeah there's some wolves Oh. That you know how wolves are. Uh, yeah, I know. Evil, very mischievous. They are. They're scary. Yeah. I know. Um. Yeah. So I just was like, I gotta get out of here. I got If I want to save my life, you know, I gotta get out of here. You gotta get to the city. This is a common story. You know? yeah. yeah. You hear this a lot in New York. And I just wanted. I was like, you know what, cat, dream, dream big. <laughs> and you did. I mean. You, and I did. Yeah. yeah. And now I uh, have a new job every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what are, you, are you getting closer to opening that restaurant that you wanted? No, no, no. It's hard no. to say. Because right. I, like, I feel like the tips wise, I mean, how do the tips work out if you're working with three other people? Oh, we have to split. It's actually illegal. Um, we have a lawsuit right now uh, against multiple restaurants <laughs> almost, for almost stealing our tips. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, there, yeah, we split the tips with the waiters. Yeah, I know. There's you, you don't, don't, don't the, uh, you don't ever see the yeah. waiters, but who's serving the food? Waiters, I guess. Waiters, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's like uh, pool tip sharing. Mm. I don't know if you guys know yeah. about that. Sucks. Yeah, you Sucks. throw all the tips in a pool and then you just uh, and then we swim in. Like not not Scrooge <laughs> McDuck, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but cats are freaking out over pools. Ca- right. well, not money pools. Yeah, like not money pools. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just yeah. full of like Scrooge McDuck. You know, it's weird I, in in that game. You know when you serve something quickly you get like you know four bucks or six bucks extra which is nice but then if you serve the wrong thing you like lose money they take money away from you like yeah because it's a waste of food you just wasted food so yeah. and it was a mistake and so they take it out of your pay mm-hmm. just like you'd that. lose tips and you lose money Oof, that's rough it's a very stressful job oh god yeah. you don't even know it's so yeah. stressful it's only um, like four minutes but, but it's yeah stressful. It's, uh, it's four minutes at a time but it's the st- most stressful four minutes of your life yeah mm-hmm. Um, it's just a quick dinner rush. Four minutes. That's it. Have you ever had any yeah. interactions with like uh, like celebrity chefs, like Gordon Ramsay or oh, something? Good like, question. I feel like he would be like really good to come in there and straighten out some of these kitchens because yeah. they're really not set up very well. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, or at least make the aisles a little bit wider they're so more than one person can go through. Why the fuck you cooking on a truck? Yeah, <laughs> in, like yelling. Right. Yeah, he's he. Um, there was one restaurant he came into. Uh, the owner brought him in. And uh, wanted to know, you know, what was wrong. We had in the in the uh, kitchen, we had moving things like the conveyor belts. Co- no, no, not conveyor belts. Oh, like when? Uh, yeah, I've seen that before. When like the tables just kind of slide back and yes. forth, like on a ship. We yeah. were on a ship, and he was <laughs> like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And um, he actually thought it would be smarter if we made it more, more uh, things moving. Wow. I, I don't know. I don't know. I quit that job. Did you quit? How do you quit? Because you're at sea, right? Where do you go? <laughs> you just wait you just, till they dock? Yeah, basically. And then you just take off. Just That's got to be weird. Like, I quit, then like three days later, you're still at sea. You're like, I'm yeah. not working. Right. You know? Now, sometimes, I mean, do you get your paychecks from these places if it only lasts for a day? Do they still give you um, your pay? Or? I actually haven't been paid yet from any job. Nothing. Wow. So that's no. why it's hard, oh, to, it's hard I, to get that I, restaurant. Keep, I get a lot of recipes wrong and so I lose money. I actually owe most of the restaurants. <laughs> How are you supporting yourself? In <laughs> well, I don't have a home. Uh, oh. I live in the alley. Here's. Can I make a suggestion? Why not when you're not working just pretend to be a regular cat let somebody think that you're just you know a dumb regular cat no offense um, <laughs> and be their pet and then you know take off during the day when they're working you go work hey. I mean it's not the worst idea I have dignity though okay that's true she's worked so hard to get that's here true. that's true but that's I mean that's that free. feels like giving up to me sometimes you have to go like that. yeah you're not you don't want a handout you have yeah. to you know 
I mean, what do you? You're not doing anything for it. you. Just you just. It's like having a roommate who wants to pet you. Is that <laughs> offensive? Like, it's, I mean, well, that actually doesn't sound bad. If I could get like massages every day, yeah. 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 If you find the right owner, that's really all they want is to just like massage you, massage you a little bit. You know. Wow, I'm like having to rethink my whole life right now. <laughs> I think should I stop being a chef? I think. <laughs> And I like, I think so. li- like live with some. Do you guys want a cat? I have two already. I don't know if you guys. I think you could handle a third. My it, building doesn't allow pets, but uh, if it did, I wish and especially didn't. a cooking cat, because I mean, I only microwave. I've never used my oven. What? I'm not even kidding. I've that, never. I've lived. Do you know how easy tomato soup is? <laughs> three tomatoes. <laughs> three in a tomatoes. Pot. I know. Just don't burn it. Just don't yeah, burn if, it. Oh my god! Can I tell you? We have had so many fires I that know. caused. Yeah. yeah. I have caused so many kitchen fires is that also can we grabs- talk about the fire yeah. extinguisher placement say, because yeah. it's a little not it's, close to where the i think is. that's the point <laughs> it's never the right spot yeah. yeah but if you're smart you take it and you set it near the um the stove top yeah. because you know there's going to be a fire <laughs> there's definitely going to be a fire so you've been involved in countless fires yeah almost every day uh yeah, every four minute lunch rush, <laughs> there's, I, a yeah, there's a fire. <laughs> it's gotta be terrible. It's really terrible, Not especially when conditions. it it uh spreads Keeps and it going. spreads very fast. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a grease fire? I don't know what it's kind a tomato of fire. fire. It's a, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a, usually a tomato or onion fire. I mean, onion. we are using it's an onion based fire. We are using a uh, uh, gas burner, so it maybe I don't know. Hmm. Isn't it more dangerous for you and the raccoons since you guys have fur all over your bodies? Like it if, is because you're, you're more likely to catch on fire like quickly. It is. I think you should give up cooking. I, I'm gonna go, go out and live here. I think you should give up cooking. Have you had my cooking? I've had tomato soup. I've had uh, onion soup before, <laughs> but not mine. Not with a no. hairball in it. Not not with yours. Is that your signature dish? Or like, what is the favorite food for favorite? me to cook? Yes. Oh, um. I might have to say a burger and a bun. Just it's a, simple. Yep. Yeah. It's a burger and a bun. Have you ever accidentally put like a tomato and an onion and a mushroom together in one pot and see what happens? Like, I have and nothing happens. No cheese. It sounds like no a trophy. Good, sounds nothing like a nothing good soup. happens. No? Really? Okay. Yeah. You're just wasting the pot. And then you have to remove each one by itself. Yeah. It's, it's You're just adding more time. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Yeah. And you can't make more than, you know, sometimes you get those like, Tomato soup order, tomato soup order, tomato <laughs> soup order, tomato soup. You know, you got four tomato soups orders and one. You can't make a big pot of tomato soup. Right. Maybe it's like yeah. a big Italian family and they all want tomato soup. You, I could see how that happens. Right, but I'm saying it would make what? more sense if I could make a oh, big you pot. Huge pot. Why not throw 10 tomatoes in? Right. Yeah. You can't. Because they have to cook for longer. You can't. Not that much. I think it would save time in the long run. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a chef, so I can't. There's I don't only know. one That's chef right, here. That's right, you're not. Mm. Meow. I was an omelet <laughs> chef. <laughs> Uh, for for a summer. Oh, oh, how yeah. really? Omelets are hard to make. For like Sunday brunch, I was an omelet chef for real. Did you? Could you do the flippy? Oh yeah, thing? I can still do it. Oh now. okay. I was working my cousin's restaurant. I was an omelet. Chef. Do you fold and then flip? I think our, our listeners nope. want to know what your no. flipping technique I, uh, is. It's it's flat, and I go boom. I do a nice flip and flip it over. Do you oh, need wow. a job? No, I'm good. I failed <laughs> at flipping a lot of times. It's hard. In my life. You gotta get it down hard. and fl- it's, you gotta get it really good. How long? How many fires did you start? I didn't start any fires. <laughs> made some messes, that's for sure. You made some messes, but never made never did, had a fire. And you didn't have to move to another restaurant. No, they kept it. me for a while. It might be the fire thing. Need, that's do really, they need a cat? They're show? closed down a long time ago. Oh. Have you ever considered making only cold foods so that you don't have to worry about fires? Like, oh, like sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. You know. cold, cold cut sandwich. Sandwiches. Like at a deli. I think you'd be good at a deli job. Like just, just slice, slice, ham. slice. You, are, you know? are you friends with pigs? Are you okay with chopping up pigs? I like pigs. They're very smart. Yeah, mm. but they're also very delicious. <laughs> yes, true. So they're very smart. It's a very like um, think about like babe ethical think about quandary it, for know? me mm. with pigs. Have you thought about like just working at a vegan restaurant? Like, you know, I mean, in the city, there's yeah. like. I mean, that's when I make soup. It's all vegan. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, your restaurant sounds pretty good for vegans because yeah, it's, it's organic. Soup. It's organic yeah. too. It all comes straight from the farm. Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, to, of all the careers you chose, mm-hmm. becoming a chef uh, who's worked on numerous restaurants seems to be the most far-fetched one, but you did it. I did it. You did Why it. not exterminator? I feel like, you know, that way you can kill mice, which is something you probably want to do already. You oh. have a natural instinct for that. That actually is a really good idea. Start with, see, we're opening up her mind. She, you had a one track mind, which is nothing wrong with that. You, you, you had a goal. And I did yeah. it. You accomplished it. Maybe, I've worked at 73 restaurants. Maybe, and you have, maybe one would say I did everything I could in my career. Yeah. You haven't gotten paid. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> the fact that you're never, you've never made money 
uh, ever, or you're actually losing money. <gasps> I owe money. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're owing <laughs> money. What do, you, what do you eat usually? Like when you, eat, you live in an alley, I, you I sneak. I sneak. Yeah. You, there's a there's <laughs> a um a trash bin. And I just go in that. Right. You don't I care. just go in the trash. I figure you and the raccoon would like have a moment at the trash bin because oh. those guys love trash. Oh yeah, yeah that's they do. true. Cats, you know? get, we like we like trash too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, we keep. He and I have a lot in common, and he just will not acknowledge that I like him. Has he oh. always been in the wheelchair, or did that happen while <laughs> on a job or Ooh. something? I actually put him. In oh the my wheelchair. god! Well, there we go. Now we're getting <laughs> to the story. That's so. There's guilt involved. Wow. A, a little He's bit of guilt. He's probably terrified of you. He's <laughs> Oh, he's angry with me? Yeah. Could tell us <laughs> how. How did that happen? Um, we both like knocked heads at the knife station. Right. And oh, then shit. I yes, I actually slipped and my knife went into his back. Oh into his spinal cord. Right in the wow. middle of his spine. And I fucked up his spinal cord. And so like he doesn't he can't he can walk anymore. Talk but about he, burying the lead here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. seriously. We're just getting to this now. Did he sue wow. you? He tried to sue the restaurant <laughs> for like workman's comp. He yeah. did not get anywhere. And then you all got fired. <laughs> and then we moved to the next <laughs> <Right>. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got, I got to work somehow. You know, this. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe he just is like angry with me. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's angry with me. I send him a lot of cards. Like really? apologizing. So you, maybe your love is like, it's like a guilt love kind of thing. Like, you yeah. know. Maybe like I pity him a little. Like Do you, you feel bad, so you just you felt you, you you're, you're 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 confusing your guilt or pity for love, possibly. Here's a here's a really extreme suggestion. Okay, he's ha- cute. He's cute. I give her that. Like he's a cute. Yeah, he is cute. Uh, you know, you know, no, not so much. No. <laughs> <laughs> I th- I think you should paralyze yourself, maybe. Whoa, whoa. Then you guys are both in wheelchairs. Oh. And then maybe he can feel like I don't more know. of a connection. Yeah. No. I don't know about that. That's, I yeah, know, that's, that's a pretty extreme. It's yeah. a pretty extreme suggestion. That's but what would uh, man, a therapist would have a lot to talk about with that suggestion. Or let him paralyze you. Ooh. That's that, I mean, I would never go for that. I, I'm sure yeah. I mean he seems like a nice guy. He's very I don't nice. Think he'd I would like, say go for, for that eye. nice cute black chef with the like five he's o'clock very stubble. Cute. He yes. Is. He's very cute. I think it's but weird. But he's a person. So yeah. He doesn't like animals. It's ele- he doesn't want to fuck an animal. It's illegal for Aww. him to fuck you then. You know that, right? Yeah. He can't he you, can't you legally can't be. But together. like you should go considering like you are in all these exo- exotic places, like maybe just find a restaurant where it's in international waters and then you two can fall in love. Yeah, on the right. boat or on the boat. In, in Antarctica or wherever where the penguins are. Yeah. There's no laws down there. I think honestly all the chefs are afraid that I might put them in a wheelchair yeah. on accident. Are so they, do they let you chop still? Um, no, I'm only I only plate okay. and wash dishes. <laughs> okay. So I'm not even really a chef. <laughs> not even really a chef. <laughs> We're learning so much. Hey, you know what? Episode. Super important part people always forget about in that game is the plating plate. and cleaning the dishes. So yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you don't have any dishes. What are you going to serve on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've screamed a co-op uh, uh, players many times uh, my teammates have not cleaned their dishes properly so it's right, you got, you right. gotta so do you're it. more of like a sue bus boy <laughs> <laughs> sue boy i guess so right yeah. bus cat woman. bus cat yeah. sue, sue bus kitty i think sue bus kitty. I, I really want something I, I want you to make a move on the raccoon i don't okay, know tell me what i what i should do well, like, you already. I sent, I sent him cards. You said, okay, so you're, you're definitely not going to paralyze yourself or let him paralyze no, you. Right? I'm okay. not going to do that. Honestly, you should just ignore him, and then he'll come to you. I've tried that. I've tried ignoring him. I've tried um, pushing him around. He doesn't like that oh. when I push. Have you him tried around. bringing him scraps from the garbage? I have not tried that. A good old doggy bag or a kitty bag. I don't know what you guys call it. A Maybe raccoon bag. It raccoon would be a raccoon bag. Coon, coon bag. Yeah. Cooney bag. Yeah. And uh, no that offense, doesn't. Calvin, <laughs> well, that like, felt oh, really sorry, wrong. Yes. That felt really wrong that you said that. I did. That was all. <laughs> you said Cooney bag though. <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, well, I thought I was making it I, sound cute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Didn't right. work. There was a mar- there was a supermarket called Coon in the South. What? Really? Yeah. Yikes. Oh yeah. Well, I remember in Ghost World. Wasn't there that whole thing about Coon's chicken? Oh, well, no, I, I, maybe. I, I mean, know. it was like obviously it used to be racist stereotypes, and right. they had to get rid of it. Right, right. But yeah, it's got very racial. So for no really reason. <laughs> He's the only white guy here. I know. Right? Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you see race as a cat? Um, <laughs> I, I do. Okay. I mean, it's like it's like the thing is like everybody is a little bit racist. Like I said, I don't like cows. Yeah. So right. maybe the raccoon just doesn't like cats. Maybe like, did you guys get along before you permanently paralyzed um, him? sort of he didn't i mean he really honestly honestly i think he might be gay which is totally oh, fine okay. mm-hmm. that might explain it too. but his, i think he just doesn't this like is a uh, girls 
Does his stuff work after the <laughs> after you knifed him in the spine? I mean, she probably doesn't know. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay, just she's dying to find out. But <laughs> yeah, it might be like a you know Hemingway situation. You're like you know for who the sun also rises or whatever. You know you know what I'm talking about. I I don't know. <laughs> okay, that sorry. Reference. I'm a cat. I can't. Sorry, read. Calvin knows what I'm talking about. There's he's, a Hemingway cat. We have him. That's one of the ones I have. Is a Hemingway cat. What does that mean? Yeah, six toes. Wait, he has, he has six toes. Hemingway, Wait, your cat could be a chef. Wait, Ernest Hemingway had six toes. I think so. That's part of like a thing. Yeah, he had a. <gasps> Oh. Kind of with six toes, and I could be totally wrong, so fans don't. Get my, that's why my wife told me. Listeners, email us with your uh, Hemingway facts. Yeah. Do you know if Antonio Banderas is the first Phantom on Broadway? <laughs> well, that's a whole other story. What I don't understand. Yeah, well. Wait, you talking about Puss in Boots? We should have asked. <gasps> is that a Puss in Boots joke? No, it's is not. That I'll tell you later. Boots? No, it's. <laughs> it's Can you thing. tell me what that means? That's way inside because I don't even. It's know way what inside. Joke. So deep. <laughs> so deep. <laughs> no right. reason for this. We we'll brought up. Yeah, look, I, um, we got to wrap it up soon. But yes. uh, Kat, any you but know? yeah, and definitely good luck with your restaurant, the Cat's Thank Meow. You. Yeah, thank you. Where it's, where do you want to locate it? Um, I'd like to locate it in Manhattan. Obviously, it's very expensive. Yeah, yeah. and also the health inspectors in Manhattan are. T- they're just like up your ass. Well, if you just own the restaurant and don't cook there, I think that's okay. Yeah, but if I own the restaurant, it will be the one place I can cook at and not get fired at. No, because it'll shut you down. You mm. can't cook It's there. a real catch-22. <laughs> it is. No, it's not because... Uh, a little bit. It's a little bit. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I no will, fire, I will give the raccoon a job. Make him the head chef. That's that's huh? how you woo him. Make him the head chef yes, at the cat's that yeah, right, yeah, do so. that. Okay. I saw it'll, many it'll, a boss. That's a thing. It'll be okay. a real tourist attraction. Like, but oh, then, yo, a cat runs this place and a raccoon's a cook. Like, people will come from everywhere. But oh, yeah, then totally. is there a power balance that I'm like... No, but that's, I'm people like that. That's a turn on for a lot of people. I mean, I, you know... You but know. isn't that like the plot of like almost every rom com a romantic book that somebody's the boss and somebody's the employee that's yeah, so like what yeah. it works those things are based on uh, well, truth i mean it's like sexual te- tomato tomato soup you people know want to I mean? bang their bosses <laughs> right. and bosses want to bang their employees all right hey you, w- you want to play a quick game with us sure let's do a good uh, version of the uh, fuck mary kill it's wed bed dead all the fans know it now wed welcome bed. all the new fans by the way so we have three Video game characters. Okay. You have to figure. You're gonna tell us who you want to wed, who you want to bed, and who you want to dead. Okay. And you have to explain your choice. This is all random. We make, okay. What if I don't know who they are? We'll tell we'll you. I'll, yeah, I'll pull up a. Yeah, beep, bop, boop, beep, boop. Random okay, number okay. generated. We have um, three, uh, two. Well, hey, here's the thing: two very similar kind of characters mm-hmm. here, and one completely crazy. It's a repeat. We've had one of them before, hmm. so it should be interesting. We gotta update the computer. We have 168 or right. 169. Yeah. So what are they? So Let's here see. we go. We have Strider from, oh. the, from the game Strider. I yeah. don't know. I will He's look. a ninja. We'll pull for you. Okay. He's got a cool sword. Okay. He's got a badass scarf. He was in arcades, Nintendo, Genesis. Oh, oh I think I know who There was a is. remake recently. Yeah, he's got a scarf, right? He's got a long scarf. Yeah. Uh, what? Very, I don't know what he has. Right, yeah. Right, he's right. very fast, right? Mm-hmm. So that's Strider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have a boy in his blob, but the blob as a ladder... Oh, again? We've had again? That so okay. It's a, so it's a blob. You know, you have, mm-hmm. you have a bl- boy in his blob. Mm-hmm. And he turns into mm-hmm. a ladder. Right. And then we have kind of similar to Strider in a way, Ryu Hayabusa, which is Ninja Gaiden. Oh. oh. Sorry, Ryu Hayabusa, Ninja Gaiden. People are going to yell at me. <laughs> Good Lord. So it's, no uh, one has ever yelled at you. People are going to yell at me. But yeah, it's uh, Ninja Ninja Gaiden, so obviously. Okay, great. The boy in his blob is a ladder. Uh, I'm going to say... Yeah, who, oh, you want to go with Cat? Who would you wed bed dead in this situation? I would... Here? Wed the third one. Uh, the ninja, right? The ninja, Ra- Ryu yeah. from Ninja Gaiden. How come? Ryu. Um, he's probably a good guy. Yeah. I don't know. Is he and a good guy? Him. Oh, he looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely wed yeah. him. I would bed the ladder. You want to screw a ladder? Yes. Tell okay. Wait. Yeah. How yeah. would that work? As a yeah, cat. I just, well, Cats rub up against a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cats love to climb. And they yes. love it. We love to That's climb. That's all you do is climbing beings. And like stretch and scratch and uh-huh. all that kind of stuff. So I think a ladder would be great because like multiple different parts. There's like so many parts to the ladder. Yeah. A lot of rungs. So it's like, yeah, a lot of rungs. Um, so a lot of variety. Is <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is, is that variety? I mean, it's the same thing over and over. Cats it's, don't care. It's, it's, yeah, no, but it's different. Right. It's still a different spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I think there's more. And um, the blob is pretty soft as a ladder, too. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's not like a, you know, like a lot of times. But it will say it's a ladder, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, it's yeah, a yeah. ladder. Yeah, yeah. As long as it stays a ladder, then we're good. If it changes, you probably freak out and run away like yeah. cats. You know, yeah. Kill. And, and, then, and then you dead. 
Strider, I guess. Huh? Yeah, because I don't know Strider, so fuck him. So fuck him. Oh. Yeah, he's done. Poor Strider. Yeah, you him. could get to know him. No. I mean, he's kind of silent, but you know. Then I'm never going to get to know him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fuck him. Yeah, you know what? My choice is, if I can go next. Yeah. Go ahead, mm-hmm. team. Um, I think if we're going to be very similar to Cats over here. <gasps> oh, I think me. I would definitely wed Ryu. So why, why Ryu in yeah. s- instead of Strider? Ninja Gaiden is a way better game. I okay. think that's why. That's and true. I'm just more, I know about him more. I did play, I did have Strider as a kid and I played it. Um, it was fine. But they're both, I mean, they're, they're very similar. Game. Like, just Sword Strike is like a lightning quick for both of them, if I yeah. remember correctly, you know. Uh, however, Ninja Gaiden <laughs> oh, Lord. has more, <laughs> does he have more fire, like powers and weapons, I feel like. He and, has like, like he has spiky more things weapons. on him. But Strider also has that like eagle and is, that dog, wolf, oh, panther, you panther. Right, yeah, that's kind of, that would be cool to have around. Ooh, threesome. Wait, is that not your, for, not, that, that's no, your I don't it's know. for fighting? It's not. I mean, that'd be really I mean, if you're betting him, then you could you could fuck the eagle and the panther. I'm not saying I want to fuck. <laughs> hold on, you guys are putting words in my mouth. I never said I want to fuck an eagle. I thought it'd be cool to have around. So maybe I would marry him. <laughs> right. But you know, I'm gonna. I mean, he's and pre- you can ride the panther. Could you imagine you and Strider like in Central Park riding a panther? You know what? Uh, It'd be really cute. Let me say you're a little large to be riding a panther. How, so. uh, but Brian always nice. was feeling protected. No he matter. He can make it as big as he wants. I'm switching it. I'm marrying. I'm wedding Strider because of all that stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the blob again. Nice. I still don't Why? understand Why? how. Because again, it. I mean, it would be so weird. Many, it do, let me ask you this: Does the blob ladder have? Is the top rung like a rung, or is it like the oh, back? So it looks like, like, like this. A, it's a giant so. vagina on top as a blob. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's it. not. So it's okay. okay. So. Yeah. Okay. It's um, just a ladder, right? It's just a ladder. It's like a wooden. But, a wooden yeah, but ladder. a lot of ladders like have. Uh, like the tops of them. Like you can stand on it, right? You can no, stand. you can't stand on it. No, but like mm-hmm. there's like pl- ho- places to hold on yes. on the ladder. So then that's like a that's like a penis. A little, yeah, or a little glory hole. It might be like a little hole to put like to screw into the wall. Sometimes you see, it's got like the two spiky thingies at yeah, the top. Yeah, the two spiky. So, yeah. so those see. are like things that can go like you know. Well, yeah, I want to got these two holes. things. Right, right, right but right. I, I'm not as opposed to like just the, like the seat. That's thing not what right, right. Yeah. yeah, those not, can go in your <laughs> holes. That's what I don't want that. I'm not betting Ryu because of that reason. I don't want anything to go inside me. So I'm gonna just typical man. I know. I'm gonna <laughs> bed the blob as a ladder, and I'm gonna have to dead uh, Ryu Hayabusa. But once again, if you're bed, like where, how are the mechanics gonna work? You know what. He's mushy, he's gushy. I'm just going to find a spot and see what happens. I think that's probably the best way to go about fucking a ladder. So he's going to do like a really dry rung job? Yeah, well, just rub against I the I picture rung. him not too dry. I picture him kind of like... Uh, I mean, I guess that's true. He's a little, he's he's a little, he's a little squishy. But yeah, that's why. I but, but that'd be always hard. moist. That'd be, hard to cl- <laughs> that'd be hard to climb, though, if he's slimy. Yeah. I mean, because he has to be hard enough. Can the, right. the ladder the boy doesn't sizes? fall through That's the ladder. True. Does the ladder change sizes? It can be as long as you want. Um, no, it's, it's like a fixed usually, size. It's like you know six foot. Okay, it's yeah. a one 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 floor. Yeah. Okay. One foot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So those, those are my maybe choices. you could, you know, have have whatever you do with the space in between rungs. I mean, I'm not that large, but maybe. <laughs> 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 Unless I shrink down the platter a little bit. <laughs> a lot of honesty. There's a lot of gap between that. But yeah, you never know. I mean. Hey, he can he can switch. the This this ladder can, can it, he may shrink. change. Maybe he can shrink. It may shrink, you know. To the size that, you know. A little you hand need. ladder and I can kind of control it that way. I don't know. There's a lot of choices here, but those that's what I'm sticking with. So Okay. You got to live with it. I, okay. I, I begrudgingly respect that. Uh, thank you. Uh, Who wants to go next? I'll go Up. next. I'll go next. And fans, tweet is your, tweet is your choice as well. It's a lot of fun. Please don't so, fuck ladders, though. Yeah. Hey, you may have to in this situation. I think I'm going to... Uh, okay. Hold I'm on. so excited to ride around a panther in Central Park now that you said that. Mine's kind of similar to yours. I'm going to actually bed the ladder as well. Okay. What? All right. Because I just, it's, uh, I don't want to have freaky. sex with It's with like freaky ninjas. though. Yeah. It's also like, I mean, to me, that's more, yeah, you're, you t- you're, you're like more open. It's a, it's a good story. Than if you're. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, it is, it's not something I would tell other people. Yo, one time, I had sex with a ladder. Hey, it just comes up in conversation mm-hmm. sometimes. No. You never no. Know. I, no, no one's going to ask you that. All right. Yeah, you could say, yeah, I got myself off of the ladder. Who knows? You could do something like that. Yeah. Uh, Wait, you got off a ladder? Yeah, let's, whatever. Next. <laughs> you know? Exactly. <laughs> Uh, and then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kill Strider. Uh, oh. and I'll tell you why. That's who I killed. Because yeah. I don't think men should be wearing scarves in general. <laughs> All right, unless it's really cold, but it's obviously not cold because he's 
not wearing a hat or a jacket. <laughs> so I don't like fashion scarves on men. <laughs> okay, it's a pretty good How do you man. feel about rompers? <laughs> no, I mean, I haven't seen any actual he's, rompers. He's kind of got a romper. Strider, but, right? Yeah, it's kind of like a jumpsuity thing. Yeah, yeah he's, he's very hipsterish, and I don't like it. <laughs> Hipster ninja. Yeah. So I'm going to kill him. Uh, and then I'm going to marry uh, uh, Ryu Hayabusa. Yeah. Ninja Gaiden. Is he Ryu or Ryu? Ryu. I think it's Ryu. They're probably all Ryu. Ryu. But we they're just probably all I think they're all Ryu. white kids grew up saying Ryu. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to break all that. It kimchi. is. Because yeah. uh, he's, you know, he's got that awesome like flippy jump thing where he sticks to the wall. And maybe like he could teach me that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, Strider you know has that I mean? too. I mean, technically no, not you like that, can. Not, Does as, he? not as good as Ninja Gaiden. That Ninja Gate, I remember just being a kid and be like, I love this, like jumping on the walls. You know, what? On the Strider walls. just jumps. Ryu does a flip every time. Yeah. That'd be cool. I to love show extra, off to uh, unnecessary flipping. I love yeah. unnecessary flipping. That'd be cool flipping. to show off to friends. Like, yo, check this out. Yeah. Wall to wall. Yeah. That'd be I'd awesome. be like, hey, uh, hey uh, hubby, can you, uh, you know, like do all that? And, you know, he's got, he throws, you know, sh- sh- shurikens. He's got ninja stuff. He's got fire wheels. Yeah. He's got a fire tornado thing. Yeah. He's got some cool special. That's what like, I was debating, but the Panther kind of swayed it for me yeah yeah i think and i'm kind of out of shape i feel like he could get me a good workout program oh, yeah. based on like climbing walls and like doing flips and mm. stuff like that now his game is impossible though so does that have any effect on your choice well we're not going to play the game i mean we're going to do what i want to do because uh i'm in charge that's marriage i'm in charge of the wedding, <laughs> I, guess, right? I guess we can compromise i didn't know that, I mean, that is marriage yes, compromise. yeah, yeah. mike he can go do whatever he wants in his difficult game but you know, when we're hanging out, it'll it'll be. It won't then be he comes like home to you, and then yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. teaches how to flip on walls. Who yeah. cook? Who cooks? Um, neither of us cook. Actually, I, I, I think cats. Do like you need a personal? I think <laughs> yeah, personal. Do you need sure. a Sue's bus boy? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of hairballs, a lot of fires. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I can only make a couple of soups, but here's what I'm going to say. I'm dependable. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm a vegetarian, so I'm fine with just vegetable soups. Great. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can. I don't mind having tomato soup. I mean, every, I can, for every, I can rotate, every meal. I can rotate between three soups. Lunch can and you, dinner. can you include just like bread on the side? Are you able to do stuff like that? No. No. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe I mean, I can get my own bread, yeah. but if you'll be mostly just a regular cat and then cook sometimes, that'll be fine for me. Great. Okay. Yeah. Great. I think we're going to do your suggestion. Okay. I find this is like home. the happiest wet bed that ever. My yeah. home right? is with you. Yeah. You, it's going to be you and me and, and Ra- Rayu Hayabusa. And who's right. your husband? Um, same. Same. Yeah. Oh, oh, so it'll be like a three-way marriage, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. like sister wives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Full house. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's only not are like we the sister wives or is he the sister wives? Uh, I think you two are the sister wives. I guess wives, we end up being yeah. sister wives. Because you're cooking, you're... I, w- I want it to be in charge, though. Um, but I guess he'll probably be in charge. Uh, yeah, he has a sword. He has a sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean, come on, he's not going to threaten us because that's spousal. He's a ninja. Piece. You never know what they're going to do. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, we well, well, we can outvote him right. all the time, cat. So if we you know whenever we want to make a decision, I think a sword wins a if, vote every time. Yeah, I mean, but if he's threatening to kill us, then we'll be like, listen, we got to get a divorce. He'll kill you then. We will get rid of. Yeah, him. he will. What do you mean? No, he's you not, know too much. He's not like an <laughs> evil ninja. <laughs> he's. I mean, <laughs> Aren't all ninjas a little evil? I mean, yeah. No, no, that is not true. Not Snake Eyes. All ninjas are all evil? All the other ones. What about American Ninja? <laughs> American Ninja, <laughs> ninja Warrior? They're all dumb. <laughs> no, no, no. The movie, American Ninja. Never seen it. Oh, no. well. Remember I mean, the white guy who was a ninja and he would like... That's evil just based on stupidity. Yeah. No, he's not evil. No, I'm sorry. The American Ninja Warriors are actually pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I do like American Ninja Warrior. I couldn't ninja do warrior. what they do. No, no. I don't yeah, have it's thumbs, insane. So. Sometimes when they fall in the first one, I'm like, you're pretty dumb. You you, you train so long, you fell off the, the water thing the, with the slanted the thing, wall. Yeah. The is it dumb yeah, to try your best? thing, I'm always it's like, what is happening? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so this, gonna, I'm, sorry, I'm excited to see who Calvin's going to. Yeah. So I would. Calvin is gay audience. Remember that. <laughs> they know. You must now. be reminded. That being said, I would definitely kill the ladder because the ladder is not going to do anything for me. Okay. Would you, you would, don't would you know just, that. Would yeah, you, I do. The ladder is not doing anything for me. Calvin's not doing housework around his house and you're like hanging pictures on the wall. You're talking to someone who does not even use his oven. Yeah. So, yeah, the ladder's not. Would you, th- would you slice him down the middle or would you throw him in the oven? Like, well, how would you kill the ladder? Oh, I would just throw the ladder in like a bottomless pit, like in the Grand Canyon, and just, just watch it like clatter yeah. and fall. Uh, the Grand Canyon actually ends. It's not a bottomless pit. <laughs> 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 you there's know a, what I mean? There's a bottom to that. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what I mean. I just watch a hole in the earth that people just go and see to nowhere, <laughs> <laughs> to the Nether Realm, the grandest <laughs> canyon. I'll just throw it in a Mortal Combat pit then. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Yeah, Impale yeah. and spikes. So yeah, the ladder would go. Um, I would definitely marry Strider because again, the Panther. I can ride a panther through Central Park with Strider. Yeah. 
the scarf. He could lend me his scarf, and then I'll be warm. You're cool with scarves. I am. I'm I'm cool with scarves too. I I like scarves, and they're good to bat around. I get very angry at men who don't wear scarves when it's like five degrees out. Well, that makes sense. When it's cold, I'm okay with. Never have, never will, and I don't like it when people wear them in the summer either. I think it's stupid. Well, summer is summer is summer is dumb. You should should be thrown off a mountain. I saw a guy last week. I wanted to take it and strangle him with it. I saw a guy last week with a beanie on, and I was like, "What are you doing?" I hate those beanies. Are so I don't understand people who wear beanies. Was it like a yeah. sports yeah. team beanie? No, or was no it just, it's just, just a regular, like, a regular blue stupid yarn beanie. made <sighs> Some beanie. fake skateboarding Lord. douche, probably. <laughs> he was on the Did he also play, like, Scrabble in public? What the fuck? Maybe oh, he was trying God. to, like, release some water weight in his He was head. very emo. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. But it was, like, 85 degrees out. It's too much. And I'm yeah. like, why, yeah. why are you? I once saw a guy on the beach with a beanie on. Like, what are you doing? Too much. Oh, God. See, I hate that. Yeah. Why would you but go yeah, to the beach Strider, as a cat? That seems to make definitely sense. wedding Strider. I don't get in the water. Oh, okay. right. oh fair enough. Right. right. What about all the sand in your paws? Uh, I lick it out. <laughs> but it's part of the. She like, looks out cat litter. Yeah, so you lick whatever you want. It's just like <laughs> it's like a big litter box, basically, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Litter boxes are like our shit. Cats just shit. No pun intended. Like, no, you don't well, know. Pun intended. Oh. Pun you no, don't ding. No, don't yeah. I ding the bell for that one. I will. Oh wow. So, so who's Thanks. left? Oh yeah. So Thanks, Calvin. Yeah. I know. Well, okay. So you marry Strider. I would definitely marry Strider. Also, I. No one's I mentioned like, that cool sword, by the way. Yes, I was gonna I say that I too. Said, I did. Okay. I think Strider's sword is cooler. His his sword is cooler. He has all this like magic and it's stuff. Longer. It is, and you know what they say about a man with a big sword? What? What do they say? They say that he cares a lot. <laughs> 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 he makes a good husband. Yeah. And <laughs> they say he's faithful. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I would bed Ryu because I don't think that Ryu would be faithful. I think Ryu would be cheating left and right. Mm. I mean, why? He's one of my. His, his I mean, he already has yeah. two sister wives. Yeah. Your sister wife now. Yeah. How did I end up to the, on the same level as a cat in a, in somebody's marriage? Hey man, yeah. that's that's the life you chose. Yeah, yes. it's twenty first century. You, you, yeah. you talked her into it, and then your wet bed dead choices proved it. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. You kind of fell right into it. But yeah, so. for sure, bed Ryu. I also think Ryu would be really good in bed. Mm. Why? Because of the flipping. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah. I mean, do you know how many positions would be like, great? You just ninjas in general, I would imagine, might be pretty good. Yeah. You they think so? Flexible. They I feel like, stuff. no, here's why I don't think ninjas Great would be good. Great body control. I don't yeah. think ninjas would be good in bed uh, because they're mostly just like uh, Dead like inside. soulless assassins. Yeah. So there's no intimacy there. No, but you got to get that. shadows. Yeah, but I feel like you could also, you have to get that out, you know, you got to have some spark of passion and then like sex is when you could be like, yeah, I'm going to fucking do this, you mm-hmm. know? Maybe. It's possible. I don't know. Maybe. I see ninjas as having like a little spark. I mean, like obviously, you know, all the killing like desensitizes you, but then, you know, if it, if that's just your job, then you want to come home and have sex. It's like, oh, this is great, you know. Right. That's, that's all he wants. That's true. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any last words, guys? Oh, anything you want to plug, Cat? Yes. Mm. You have out. any upcoming restaurants like, that you'll be working at? Look out or for the cat's meow. The cat's meow. I'll plug the cat's meow, Hopefully even though it's soon. really just an idea in my head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe you open it up just for stray cats. Maybe you don't get a big. They don't have money. They don't I have don't have like to serve cats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we didn't get oh. into this. They don't tip. Really? Oh, <laughs> no. You just talking about black okay. cats, or you talking about all cats? All in general? Hey, oh, okay, hey. come on, it's a, please. Come on, <laughs> no, I can't I'm not the, racist. Get the bell for that joke. <laughs> nope. We no. were just on the black guy who tips podcast, <laughs> so. and you ruined it. Uh, yeah, you ruined all that. We've lost all those followers. Now. Come on, the audience knows. <laughs> the audience knows that I love them. I'm not. I'm not racist. I'm catist. Okay, Cat, yeah. You're speciesist. Speciesist. Yeah. Animalist. Yes. Animalist. 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 Is? No, I don't. Animist? I, no. No. I think that's, that's, that's an actual. That's an Assassin's Creed. Species. Oh, okay. No, an animist. The animist. Animist is somebody who worships animals. Like a, that's part of the religion. That's a real right? thing. Yeah. And with that, we're going to call it a wrap on this episode of Playable Characters Podcast. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Rate us, subscribe us, email us, tweet us at Playable Podcast, Playable Podcast at gmail.com, all that fun stuff. At Playable Podcast on Instagram. And we'll talk to you next week. See ya. Eat your soup. Meow. Thank you.